Is that what it is? Is that why we're seeing the president mm -hmm. out and out mm -hmm. calling members of um, the Azmiya coalition into mm -hmm. meetings? Mm -hmm. What we're seeing him push the Jubilee uh, members back to the Kenya Kwanzaa government mm -hmm. on the promise of sustainability. Stay here, mm -hmm. we're the ones who run in the government, we're gonna get you a place. Mm -hmm. The move to absolute power. The National House is coming back today. Mm -hmm. I'll get back to that, but first I want to uh, take you back to 1984 mm -hmm. and there's this guy called George Orwell and he writes a book Animal Farm, Animal Farm. Yeah, Animal Farm. and where he talks about he, he says some we oh, we are all animals but some animals are more animals, yeah, more animals are more equal or are more animals, <laughs> animals than, than others yes. which begs me or brings me to this question um, I think in just one of these weekends governors had a meeting with the presidency. Yes. Iala MPs, when Iala MPs uh, were about to go to Arusha, so they I had a meeting. The yes. Um, I think it's Winnie Odinga only who didn't show up. Maybe Winnie, I don't know if Kalonzo, Kennedy Kalonzo showed up. Mm -hmm. But the MPs showed up, Kanini Kega showed up and the rest. So my question is, I want to see the same strength. The way you are so hard, you are very hard on members of parliament. Why aren't you so hard? on governors? Is it a situation whereby some animals are more... Uh, for example, yesterday, Natembea has been trending. Natembea versus the DPS, yes. right? Yes. When he talked about the security issues, ETC, which looked like na Natembea followed the DP to a prayer rally in Nakuru. My question is, isn't this the same George Natembea, who's in the same party with Eugene Wamalwa? Aren't you seeing that dynamic? Why are you harassing members of parliament? Why are you harassing members of parliament? If you look at the first, the, no, just, just as you continue yes. with your sentence, yes. if you look at the first uh, time that um, Ruto went to Kisumu, yes. you saw the reception that he got. Wasn't good. Yes, the wasn't first good. time. Yes. The first time wasn't good. Yes. Some members actually bluntly refused to actually go and mm -hmm. welcome him. Yeah. Look at the second time. Yes. They had to wait for Raila Molodinga to speak. Mm -hmm. Raila actually did say, yeah. the president is coming over. Mm -hmm. Please, could you accord him mm -hmm. a state welcome? And you see what, what he got this time. Yeah. Good welcome. Mm -hmm. When he when made promises mm -hmm. of development. Is that what? Raila Molodinga was expecting this time that mm -hmm. before you make any move, yeah. we're trying to move together as a coalition. Yes. And I want to ask you this question. Do you believe that Jalango, a first time mm. member of parliament, mm. would have ascended to that seat mm. if he were not running on an ODM party ticket mm -hmm. in Langata? Mm. Basing your answer on that then, yeah. should have consulted the party leader because we do have movements, like yes. they're saying rallies yeah. within the country yeah. at a time when they're disapproving what the president is doing, mm. but you decide to admit him mm -hmm. without his permission. Mm. You know, I think um, Okoth might be privy now that she said she's uh, daughter, daughters of Raila, she might be privy to the ODA. I'm, I'm assuming she must have been an ODM member or must have been privy to the constitution of uh, ODM and yes. how ODM conducts. It's, um, it's affairs because before you deal the, the before you deal every political party has its own handbook yeah like That's a it. manifesto on how they deal with issues which is actually registered at the ORPP yes. so whenever you have conflicts whenever you have issues before you bring it to the court of public opinion it's actually expected that you had your own internal kamukunji where the the, the board the neck the neck uh, leadership and the board and the or you have a dispute tribunal and you could have called this guy and told him hey what you did so i'm wondering in in between that you know short span between jalango going to see the presidency between you having the Ma manzoni meeting in between you was there really like some sort of due process or it's you made a mistake and now we are going to take you to the court of public, public opinion, opinion. Okay, coming back to the same Jalongo who vied on an ODM ticket, who yes. I believe, of course, he would, if he would not have vied on an ODM ticket, he could not have gotten the chance. When they say that um, in the meeting they spoke about national development, which you say Kanini Kega has yes. other wherever. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest housing projects and biggest housing minas is actually in Langata. If you remember the, the whole forest issues. Yes. So for me, if Jalango says it, Jalango must sit at the table. Otherwise, decisions regarding where part of his constituency sits will be made and he will not be there. He will not be there to say, you guys, you ha we had to vacate because this property standing on is not yours. For me, I would say it will be very, it will not be a wise move. Yes. Because 
um, uh, the role of a politician. Fine, it's the political party that takes you there. Mm -hmm. But the political party first believed that you had numbers. They believed that you could actually rally. Otherwise, anybody else in the street could have gotten ODM or Kenya Kwanzaa D despite, ticket. Despite, but, despite the conversation that if you really wanted to win the election, yeah. if you want to win an election in Nairobi, yeah. just sing Baba and yeah. run on ODM ticket. It's yes. been like that for a couple of years yes. now. Yes. yes, But they're also not giving tickets to anybody. They could have given that ticket to any. They yes. gave it to, my, mm -hmm. to Jalango one because one, uh, as you, uh, let's even forget about his celebrity status. Yes. They assume that he did his homework. He went door to door and he actually has a certain number of following. So for me, it's quid pro, uh, quid pro, uh, yes. quid pro. Quid pro quo. I yes. only gave mm -hmm. you this ticket because I also know that you have numbers. And one of the things that I rarely quote Gashagwa, but one of the things I quote him on, and this is in regards to when she was talking about the central people. You know, you are daughters of Raila yes. and me, I was daughters <laughs> of the mountain. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so uh, us as daughters of the um, daughters of the mountain, and we supported uh, uh, Baba, Baba completely. completely yeah. But what Gashagwa, and Gashagwa kept on saying, and he told Kanini Kega, and he told Sabina Shege, and he told um, um, Jeremiah Kioni, he told all these honorables, the last day of election period is not the day you go to listen to your superiors. During the days of listening to your superiors are also important, but the most important thing you go listen to your people, mm -hmm. the people who elected yes. you and the direction in want they want to go. The